Good evening, everybody. In the session of Materia Medica, we are going to learn one more tissue salt today. Actually, these remedies are not included in Allen's keynotes, and that's why we are discussing them from the Borix Materia Medica. The 12 tissue salts which are there, which are already discussed in length on YouTube, in the playlist of biochemic remedies. There are 72 lectures already uploaded. So, I am not going to go uh, teach you the 12 tissue remedies from the Schussler, but I will going to share a clinical aspect about the Kali Muraticum today. This is a remedy not well proved homeopathically, but this remedy has a lot of use in your practice. When yesterday I have told you the stages of inflammation, the pathological stages of inflammation. First stage, there are four different types. The first one with the aconite, the second one with the gel, uh, perimphos, third one with the belladonna, and fourth one with the gelsemium. And when this first stage vanishes, that is congestion vanishes, not vanishes, congestion turns towards the further progress of the inflammation, then there is a fluid movement. Then there is a question of exudation starts. Exudation means protein-rich fluid comes out of blood vessel and reaches to the antigen side. This protein-rich fluid is for the purpose of basically to fight. These are the first fighting agents against the antigens. Because these are the proteins which contains the globulins and fibrins, fibrinogen. Two purposes are solved. First, defense with the globulins and second important, the fibrinogen forms the fibrin to limit the spray of the spread of the antigen. So, it has been localized to the, that specific area. For that purpose, this exudation happens. This exudation state is very characteristically expressed by the Kali Muraticum. Wherever there is exudate, which is purely an exudate, labeled by the name of plastic exudate or it is a serous exudate, that exudate has a typical Kali, Kali Muraticum feature. So, if nasal discharge is there, which is like exudate, not yellowish, it is just a mucus coming out of out there in the form of common cold. Kali muraticum is a very important remedy. Whenever there is an ear discharge and there is no pus, but it is an exudate which is coming out from the ears, think of Kali muraticum. In fact, Schussler has used this terminology that this is the best remedy in orish's hands and it is real ear. Whenever the problem of ear obstruction comes, many patients comes to you, doctor, during bathing, I got the water gets poured on the ear and ear is blocked. To remove that block, Kali Muraticum is a wonderful remedy. It is the Eustachian Qatar which develops over there with a plastic exudate. Think of Kali Muraticum. A wonderful remedy to open the channel is Kali Muraticum. Because this plastic exudate blocks the Eustachian tube, but there is no pus formation. Third important thing for which I will going to share one case that is a chronic pharyngitis labeled by the name of hospital sore throat. It is the posterior pharyngeal wall. There was follicle, lot of follicles. Along with a mucoid discharge, a plastic exudate, where whenever a patient hawks up, the exudate was coming out and tongue was characteristically grayish white at the base. That was typical. I have prescribed him a calimuraticum Along with the pulsatilla, the patient's constitutional remedy was pulsatilla and calimiraticum is a adjuvant to it. And patient recovered so fast, within, within span of 2-3 days, everything vanished. 
and patient was on the process way of recovery and there was no further recurrence. I have continued treatment for at least two, three months because it was chronic. So this is a wonderful remedy for such types of cases. Second important thing, I, I used to use the Kalimuraticum wherever there is ear problem and if pus is not there but discharge is there, Kalimuraticum is the remedy. Third important thing when I used to use the Kalimuraticum is whenever the joint is inflamed and there is an effusion in the joint, that effusion is always from serous membranes, serous fluids like bryonia, like calicarbonicum, this is one more remedy where you can remove that fluid from the joint very easily with the help of calimuraticum. It is a remedy mentioned in the book by prepatellar bursitis or housemate's knee. But housemate's knee with the effusion in the joint, yes, definitely calimur works. There is one more remedy, stictopy for the housemate's knee. But stictopy, it is very specifically the um, insertion of uh, muscles over there below the patella that gets inflamed, but there is no effusion like calimuraticum over there. If it is like a sprain over there, then it is a ruta. If it is because, if, if the modality matches, that is better by motion, aggravated by sitting in one place, aggravation by rest, then it is the rush tox. So you have to understand exactly, don't go on name prepatellar bursitis and give the prescribed the calimuraticum, it's not so. Calimuraticum, if you are prescribing, there should be an effusion, there should be a discharge, there should be a serous type of discharge, there should be an exudate, wherever it is, wherever it is. It doesn't mean that it is localized to one part. If there is a, any specific swelling over there and there is no pus formation, but edema is there, think of calimuraticum, specific localized edema, inflammatory edema. It is not the edema like apis or ap aposinum. That is a generalized edema that is different. That is stagnation. Here it is not stagnation. Here it is the inflammatory stage, the second stage of inflammation. Pulsatilla is chemical and um, pulsatilla is vegetable analog of calimuraticum. Pulsatilla is vegetable analog for two remedies, calimuraticum in the second stage of inflammation and when inflammation proceeds further, when it enters into the third stage, calisulfuricum, the pulsatilla also cover that. Pulsatilla is a big remedy having a wide um, uh, range that is from second stage of inflammation to the early third stage of inflammation. In between comes the pulsatilla. So, we have discussed yesterday the aconite followed by, followed by ferrum phosphoricum, followed by belladonna, followed by gelsemium, followed by calimuraticum. It is entering into the second stage of inflammation. After calimuraticum, you think of pulsatilla. Pulsatilla is further more than that. After pulsatilla, you enter into the Kali sulfuricum state. So, this is how one has to think about the remedy. We have to apply the knowledge, our knowledge of the medicine, of the pathology, and then compare it with the homeopathy. If, if you are able to judge all those things, then you will be a good clinician and good practitioners or result oriented practitioners. You can produce a very good results if you are able to judge the stages. And that is what I want to teach you. This is how I, I used to look towards the things. I used to find it out all those things in the patients. Today morning only I had a case of burns, burns over there on the face. It is because of the blast of the uh, what you can say that um, those lamps which used to focus over there and that blast and this fellow was sitting in front of it and it blast and there was a burn. Patient has consumed uh, you utilized allopathic medicines for two three days but they came to me because they were uh, they considered that homeopathy will heal them very fast and then that's why they and there was a oozing over there and that oozing was not fustular, that was an exudate. 
which was coming out it is sticky mucoid it is the stage of kali muraticum i have prescribing kali muraticum along with the ferum phosphoricum so it it is a very important remedy in these cases another explanation what i want to say where i used to use i always use this remedy whenever there is a herpes zoster in early phase herpes zoster whenever vesicle used to form and there is no not at a secondary bacterial infection no further yellowishness of the eruption kali muraticum is the wonderful remedy along with ferum phosphoricum in it stops very easily very very easily the further progress and heals the ulcers very fast herpes zoster wonderful remedy this kali muraticum pemphigus if the collection is more kali muraticum is a very important remedy so you have to utilize the pathology and the correlation and the medicine its pathology and correlate that then you can catch this remedy and you can utilize this remedy borik has not given so much he has explained about this simple thing we'll read the first paragraph from borik's matra medica and we'll learn certain big big aspects about the remedy but this is a wonderful remedy whatever i have explained about the second stage of inflammation where exudation happens kalimur is the remedy open your borix mat remedy ka kalimuraticum is chloride of potassium kcl although not proven this remedy has wide clinical use through its introduction by susler my suggestion to all of you is to go with the lecture of susler 12 tissue remedies uh, from um, in our uh, youtube channel in the playlist of biochemical remedy and read that 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 gives you a wide perspective about the remedy it certainly is of a great value in catarrhal affections so wherever mucous membrane inflammation is there this is a wonderful remedy one has to consider in sub acute inflammatory states sub acute inflammation when the acute is finished the first stage finishes when it leads towards the acute kali muraticum is the stage sub acute inflammatory states fibrinous exudations underline these these are all things words very important fibrinous exudation the exudate which contains the globulins plus fibrin it is second stage of inflammation it controls and limits the spread of antigen fibrinous exudations and glandular swellings that is one more thing where this remedy is useful glandular swelling it affects the lymph nodes it affects the glands and wherever there is an exudate think about this remedy white or gray coating at the base of tongue again underline given in italics this is very very specific hint of the kali muraticum that base of the tongue is thick white gray and expectoration is thick white phlegm seem to be special guiding symptoms so expectoration is also thick it is also a white it is also mucoid <coughs> see the word bursitis prepatellaris prepatellar bursitis is nothing but the housemaid's knee <coughs> if you open the sticta open the borix matra medica sticta p you will have housemaid's knee word over there you can get that in sticta p the remedy mentioned over there rustox caliavidoid and the slag along with that housemaid's knee these are very important remedies for the housemaid's knee housemaid's knee is nothing but the prevertilar bursitis if it is associated with wheezing associated with the um, exudation this remedy is the wonderful remedy so this is in general the action of the remedy now just we'll go through the highlights in the particulars uh, in the head there is a dandruff dandruff with the eruptions on the um, scalp crusta lactea that's what the word which has used and which is oozy there are many patients who comes to you with eruptions on the scalp and it oozes and the hairs get tangled vinca minor is very important remedy 
in vinca minor there is a oozing and hair gets matted together and there are ulcers over there along with vinca minor you can add the kali muraticum you get the very good result if it is oozing the pus then it is not vinca minor if you get a thick scabs over there under which the yellow pus is collected then it is a mezzerium see the you have to understand these eruptions specifically mezzerium has a thick coated scab thick layered scab under which the yellowish pus is collected is the mezzerium state and it it happens to be there in the scalp only vinca minor has not so much of pus it has oozing exudation eyes there are superficial ulcers trachoma corneal opacities ears yes this is very important remedy for ear complaints chronic cataract conditions of middle ear so chronic otitis media glands about the ears are swollen so below the ears you get the glandular affections along with that snapping and noises in the ears yes this is one remedy i used to add whenever tinnitus is there i used to give the kalimur along with whatever is indicated whether it is natrum salicylate salicylic acid whether it is sometimes even the um, mulin oil these are the remedies which are there for tinnitus but this kalimur i used to add from biochemical way threatened mustard so mustard affections and threatened mustarditis is another important thing great effusion about the auricle so there is great effusion around the auricle at the opening of the ear nose it is a remedy for catarrh with phlegm thick white vault of pharynx covered with adherent crush vault of pharynx the innermost layer of the pharynx stuffy cold nose bleed then face cheeks are swollen and painful yes mouth coating of the tongue grayish white dryish slimy this is very important along with the swollen glands about the jaw and neck these are submandibular mandibular glands generally they are swollen or cervical glands sometimes they are swollen this is very typical with the kalimur it goes through the lymph and that's why it used to produce its effects throat very important again remedy follicular tonsillitis follicular tonsillitis this word comes in aesculus also but in aesculus follicular tonsillitis is associated with chronic lumbago very typical correl correlation is there with the aesculus here follicular tonsillitis with a typical thick phlegm which comes out over there tonsils are inflamed enlarged so much can hardly breathe grayish patches or spots in the throat and tonsils adherent crust in the vault of pharynx that is posterior wall hospital sore throat this is the terminology for the chronic posterior pharyngeal wall pharyngitis that is hospital sore throat eustachian catarr that's what i have told you that eustachian catarr and it shows the blocked sensation over there a blocked feeling this is the very important remedy stomach fatty rich food causes indigestion bulimia hunger disappears by drinking water then abdomen this is the remedy for thread worms causing itching at the anus stools constipation is there large light colored stools hemorrhoids bleeding bloody blood is dark and thick with fibrinous clotted blood this is very important thing then female complaints are important and here one important thing is actually i forgot to tell you one this case uh, there was one patient she was just young 30 years of lady she came one day with me and she asked me sir uh, i have a problem i have gone to many gynecologist and they are not able to solve my problem i had menses and they are very dark very dark it is not normal darkness sir this is absolutely dark it looks like a tar and along with that she had one more feature she had leucorrhea in between and that leucorrhea 
was typically of exudate type of leucorrhea, mucoid, albuminous type of leucorrhea. I have considered this remedy because there are two remedies, star-like leucorrhea is platina and calimuraticum. I have given calimuraticum along, along with whatever I remedy, I could not re recollect. But that remedy, that with that remedy, within first 15 days, patient was resolved completely. The problem was solved. And next menses, it found to be a normal. So this is very important remedy in female complaints. Menstruation too late, suppressed, checked too early, excessive discharge, dark clotted, tough, black, blood like a tar, platina. Leucorrhea discharge of milky white mucus, thick, non-irritating bland. Morning sickness with vomiting of white plagum. Bunches in the breast feel quite soft and are tender. So, breast, they are tender, there, there is a collection over there, lot of collection and it, it has, when it opens, it never shows much force, but it shows the discharge, which is mucoid type. Respiratory, very important remedy for respiratory complaints, specifically rattling of the chest, which is there, which is full of tenacious mucus in the bronchi. And it is not easy to take out that. That is calimuraticum. Back and extremities, see rheumatic fever, exudations and swelling around the joints. Rheumatic fever where the joints are inflamed and there, there is many times effusion happen. Whenever effusion is there in the joints, think of calimur first. Rheumatic pains felt only during motion are increased by it. Nightly rheumatic pains, worse from warmth of bed, lightning like a small up back to the feet. Small up back, this terminology comes in homeopathy again and again. Small up back means a belt area. It is the crossing between the sacro, um, uh, lumbosacral joint and sacroiliac joint is the small up back. Uh, in Marathi, the peoples from village, they always utilize this one word for it. Dr. Chauka Dukta. Chauka. Chauka manje kai? The lumbosacral joint and the um, uh, sacroiliac joint. Here, Doninsa joint as to the Chauka. That is the, their terminology. So, hands get stiff while writing. Skin, acne, erythema, eczema with vesicles containing thick white contents. Dry floor like scales on the skin, like arsenic and bursitis. It is a very important remedy in bursitis. My suggestion, it is not added over there, but my suggestion is always there for herpes zoster where no pus is formed, but it contains fluid vesicles. Then Kalimur is the wonderful remedy. Modality is worse, rich food, fats and motion. Relationship compare the belladonna, which Kalimur follows well in cataract and hypertrophic condition. Kino is the unknown remedy, not proved remedies. Otoria which teaches in right ear. Bryonia, mercurius, pulse, sulfur, these are remedies for comparison. But bryonia, it is, it is again, uh, effusion is there in bryonia. It, bryonia is, acts on serous membranes, produces effusion. That's why bryonia is, comes closer to this remedy. Mercurius, no, mercurius is more than that. And that's why mercurius generally goes into the next stage of it. Pulsatella is next stage. Sulfur, yes, sometimes um, this oozing, exuded like oozing is always there with the sulfur also. Dose 3rd to 12th potency, I used to use 6x potency most commonly, very occasionally the centesimal 30 to 100. External use in skin affections with burning sensation, that's, that I have not tried in my practice. But Boric has mentioned. So, this remedy is a wonderful remedy in clinical practice and it has a wide use. My suggestion to keep the um, Perampos, Kalimur, Silesia, these are the remedies with you. And these remedies are always, always, always useful for you. So, keep these remedies with you. They are very helpful in your day to day practice. So, one should not miss the Kalimuraticum in practice. So, Kalimur, you will never forget the plastic exuded second stage, early stage of the second 
stage of inflammation, exudation, wherever settles, the remedy is the calimuraticum, specifically having action on the nodes, on the ears, on the GI tract, specifically in the rectum, in the female genitals, as well as respiratory tract. And everywhere, this second stage with exudate is the calimuraticum. So don't forget this remedy and go through it again from the Sussler's so that you can get a wide aspect of remedy in your mind. So that's all for today. Tomorrow, we're going to start with the um, Kali Muraticum, uh, sorry, um, uh, Kali Phosphoricum, another remedy from Kali family, a 12 tissue salt. Again, a clinical use of it, I will going to share with all of you. I, in Allen's keynotes, he has not mentioned these two remedies. I will going to share it from Borix Matra Medica. Uh, Susla's Matra Medica, it is already uploaded on the YouTube channel. So that's all for today. Thank you very much being there. If any question is there, we'll have a talk. Otherwise, we'll conclude. There are many students in this batch who are attending. My suggestion to all of you, see the senior most man who is sitting over there, Dr. Varkesar, and he, what he used to do, he used to take out the notes, he used to write the things. This is very important. This gives you a different perspective of how to learn. Sir, it's really good. I'm always, I'll, I'll, uh, I will suggest my students to go your with your method and this is the actual need they should have their own notes of the remedies so thanks always there being there and promoting me so we'll meet again tomorrow evening with the matra medica session as well as the philosophy session good night thank you sir good night good night